All right. Amazon Turbo Blanket. Okay, very quick turbo blanket install. You know what? There it is. Turbo blanket installed. Looks nice. Apparently, these do something, but uh, I guess we're gonna find out. Also, we're in Texas and it's snowing right now. So we're gonna go for a drive. All right guys, welcome back to LM Diesel. And today we're gonna be talking about turbo blankets and whether they actually do something. So let's click it in gear and let's get going. I got an Amazon turbo blanket. I will link it below. It was about 40 bucks. It's for an S400 turbo. I have an S472 and uh, I I've had it on, I've been running it for about a week or two, and I just wanted to give y'all like my impressions of it, whether it actually does something, this and that, right? So my deal right now is I have an S472 turbo on stock fuel, so stock injectors. Um, that is not a good combo, don't recommend it, going to be getting injectors soon, but until then I'm trying to get this huge turbo to spool with not enough fuel. And so I got a smaller exhaust housing, the .90 housing, that did help a little bit. And now I got the turbo blanket, which is also supposed to help a little bit. So, the question we've all been waiting for, did it help? Did it actually do something? Um, it's kind of like the .90 exhaust housing. Did it do something? Yes. But was it also just kind of very slight? Also yes. So with driving it and just the driving characteristics it does feel like it spools a little bit quicker i do notice that like the boost at certain rpms is a little higher than it normally would be uh, by like one psi probably like one or two psi so if i could just kind of give this into like a numbers di difference i feel like the 0.90 housing and the turbo blanket combined have helped to increase like the boost by like two psi probably like two to three psi combined so is it perfect no is it a lot no but at those low rpms when you're going 10 miles an hour 20 miles an hour every psi helps and it definitely makes this thing spool better and it definitely feels better the drivability is definitely coming back so yeah so we're doing 20 right now that's about seven psi boost just kind of cruising at six right now so you see it came alive decently fine um, with stock fuel a little smoky um, but that's just kind of how it's going to be with this setup so yeah that's my basic uh overview of it like i said it's just kind of a small little upgrade just wanted to talk to y'all about talk to you about it just to see if it actually I'm sure people are wondering whether it actually does something. I would recommend watching the Power Driven Diesel video that they did on uh, turbo blankets because they actually dynoed a truck with a turbo blanket and without. And while the truck made the same power, um, uh, whether it had the blanket or not, the its peak power came in sooner with the blanket. So the blanket does actually do something. Plus, in my opinion, it looks pretty cool too. So anyway, Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one. Also, shout out little sister for videoing. Peace.